In this video, I'm going to show you how to do these really cool water spotted design nails. All you need is a plastic cup of filtered water and some rubbing alcohol in liquid form. If you don't have rubbing alcohol, then any of these should work. However, it needs to be in a spray bottle to create the spotted effect. I use a 90% antiseptic disinfectant, so I can't say how these substitutes perform, but in the ingredients on the bottle, you want alcohol to be one of the first on the list. Start with a clean nail and paint two coats of your base colour on. I'm using OPI's Russian Navy, which is a beautiful, subtle, shimmery navy, and only needs two coats to be opaque. While you wait for your polish to dry, paint on your liquid tape around your cuticles, up your finger slightly and behind your nail on your fingertip. Because you'll be dipping your nail into the polish, you want to create a barrier on your skin to help with cleanup as much as possible. You can watch my video on how to make your own liquid tape here. You want the glue to be 90 to 100% dry and the polish to be dry to the touch just in case you knock it while dipping it into the water. You can always use a fan to speed up the process. I'm using this small glass cup that I got from Ikea. It will get polish on it so don't use a good glass. A plastic disposable cup will work just as well. Fill it with filtered or bottled water as tap water contains impurities that will stop your polish from spreading. Taking your polish, I'm using Alpine Snow by OPI. Get the brush and hold it about a centimetre above the water in the cup. Let the polish drop in and spread across the surface. Once it's spread, get your spray alcohol and spray it on the polish. It will separate and you can dip your nail in upside down and horizontal with the water to get the polish to transfer it evenly. Collect the extra polish with a Q-tip or as I have used, a needle in a pencil eraser. If it's not dry, it will be harder to collect so blow on the polish slightly and it will lift out of the cup. And this is how it looks pre-cleanup. You'll be glad that you use the DIY barrier, trust me. To remove it, pick at an edge until it comes up and then peel it off. As you can see, it comes off well even though it's been in the water and removing it right after taking your finger out of the water will make it come off even easier. Clean up any extra with nail polish remover and then add a top coat. And this is the end result. It looks incredibly advanced but is nice and easy to do. And you can even dip multiple fingers at once to save time and polish. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you recreate this look, please tag me on social media. All of my info is listed down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you an easy splatter nail design that requires almost no specific nail art tools and no advanced skill level to do. All you're going to need to do this design is a few nail polishes, a regular drinking straw, a peel off barrier or masking tape to help with cleanup after you're done, and a quick dry top coat to help it all dry faster. You're also going to need a disposable plastic or paper surface to work on that's going to protect your workspace from any polish splatter. For my splatter design I'm going to be using a base of OPI Alpine Snow and then four of the new Hello Kitty by OPI polishes. I'm going to be using Kitty White, Small plus cute equals heart, spoken from the heart, and never have too many friends. Paint your base polish on and then let it dry. Now since we're going to be covering it with a heap of splattered polish, it really doesn't need to be opaque and it doesn't need to be perfect. Just cover the nail with one coat. Apply the peel off barrier to your fingers and let it dry, or if you're using tape, apply that. I'm using Liquid Palisade by Kiesk, but you can use whichever one that you have, or I have a tutorial here on how to make your own. Take the first polish that you're going to work with and put one drop of polish onto some plastic or into a dish. Taking the straw, dip one end of it into the polish and then while the polish is still covering the end of the straw in a thin barrier, move it over the nail and blow quickly and sharply through the straw and onto the nail. You need to move really quickly in this part. If the polish doesn't spray off the straw and onto the nail, it's because the polish barrier separated to the edges of the straw or you didn't blow hard enough to move the polish. Repeat this process with all the polishes that you've chosen to use. Remove the barrier or the tape and then with a small angled brush clean any polish off your cuticles and fingers that may be left. Keeping in mind that this is a very messy design. Apply 
dry top coat to seal and smooth the design down and I'm using a quick dry top coat to help dry the polish faster. And that's it, the end result is an edgy look that's really simple to do but looks really complicated. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and if you did then please give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.